Excel is really good for sorting data. I've got a list here of training on various different bits of software or hardware. You can see I've got things like iPad, Excel, Access and so on. The level, the location, the platform and so on. I've got dates here, they're already sorted. But I might want to sort this column here into ascending order. So it starts with A and goes down to Z. So I can simply do this. I'm here on the home part of my ribbon and I can go over to the side here, click on sort and filter and I can sort A to Z. And I do it like that and you'll see simply it has sorted this. Cleverly it's not included these at the top, these titles, and it's not because they're formatted differently. Excel just assumes that. So I can sort on another column if I want. I could go over to here. I could go into Sort and Filter, Sort A to Z, and I've now got it Advanced First and Data and so on down that list, and you can see that it's in order. So it goes A to Z. If it started with a number and then a bit of text, numbers come first if you do A to Z. Otherwise, if it's Z to A, which was also on that list, it would do it the other way around. So if I want to sort my date back into that order, I just click here, go to Sort and Filter, and now instead of saying A to Z, it says oldest to newest or newest to oldest. And if I go to oldest to newest, it puts it back in that correct order for me. So there are other ways that I can do this. I can go into my data menu here, and you can see it's got A to Z and Z to A right there. The actual icons itself don't change, but if you hold the mouse over it, it says oldest to newest. But if I'm on a bit of text and hold it over it, you'll see it now says A to Z. So that is how you can quite quickly sort. The other thing you can do is a custom sort, which is this one here. If I go back to home, you'll see that it's got sort and filter and custom sort there. But I'm going to go to the data tab at the top here on the ribbon and I am going to choose this sort here. And what this allows you to do is to sort on more than one thing and have a little bit more control. So before I could sort on only one column. Well what if I wanted to sort by the software and then by the level? Well what I can do here in this dialog box is choose from this list which column I want. Now it knows that it's got software at the top here because of these headers at the top. And it knows that because of this little tick here. My data has headers so it assumes that the first row is your header row. If I untick it, so now what happens is if I do a sort it's going to include that in it and rather than having the names here it just says column A, B, C, D which corresponds to those across the top. I'm going to tick that back on and instantly that changes. So I'm going to choose date. I'm going to change that to software. I can get it to sort on the values. That's the text that's in there. You can get it to sort on cell color, font color, and if there was a cell icon in there you could get it to sort on that as well. Most of the time people want to sort on values. You can then choose what order you want it in. A to Z, Z to A, and a custom list is something we'll take a look at in another tutorial. So I'm going to do it in A to Z. Now I want to sort as well by the level, so that's going to come next. So I'm going to add a level and then I'm going to sort it. And you can see it says sort by on that row, then by, and I'm going to choose level. I'm going to do it A to Z as well. So I just need to leave those alone. And now you can see it's got access, 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 and it does these in the right order. Same for Excel, it does advanced, data, intermediate, and VBA. So you can see that that little chunk there is sorted within this chunk here. So you can do a lot more sorting. If I click back on that sort, it's remembered what I've got. If I want to get rid of one of these rows, I can just hit delete level, so I can do that. I can put it back very simply. So I can just put that back in. I could move it around. So I've clicked on that one. I can click on this arrow here to move it up. And if I wanted to move it down, I could do the same again. Now I can keep adding levels. So if you're using older versions, say Excel 2003 on Windows, or you were using Excel 2004 
on the Mac, then you'd be able to sort up to three different things here at the most. Now, I'm just going to choose some other bits here. You'll see I can keep adding all the way up to 64. So you can have up to 64 columns all sorted. So that's quite useful. You may not want to do 64, that's quite a lot, but quite often you might want more than the three. So I'm just going to click on OK. I haven't really thought about this one. Just better click on that delete level there and click OK. So you can see you've got a lot more options with the sorting. Excel's very good at this. So if you do need to sort things, that's how you do it. So one thing that's really important to know is if you've sorted it, then you've saved it and you close it and reopen it, you can't tell it then to unsort it. You can use undo. So even if you've saved it, you get a chance to do that. But if you've closed it and reopened it, you can't do that. So that is how you do sorting on Excel 2010.